okay, you're given a right triangle like this and you have two of the sides of the right triangle and you wanna find this third side, that's when the Pythagorean theorem comes in. So a quick refresher here, when you have a right triangle, you have these two sides that make up the right angle. These are called the legs or the sides. And the side that's across from the right angle, that longest side is called the hypotenuse. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared, meaning this leg squared, plus b squared, this leg squared, is equal to c squared, the hypotenuse squared. So what you can think about uh, geometrically is if you were to make this into a square and find this area, and then make this into a square and find the area, add those two areas together, it's gonna equal the area of this third square, which is the hypotenuse squared. So let me show you how this works with this first example. So you can see that this side here is gonna be A, this side here is gonna be B, and the one that's across from the right angle, that side is gonna be C. So if we go ahead and substitute into our Pythagorean theorem here, we have A squared, which is three squared, plus B squared, which is four squared, equals C squared, which in this case we just call X, so X squared. So just simplify, three squared means three times three, nine, 4 squared is 4 times 4, 16. And then if we add these together, we get 25 equals x squared. To get x by itself, we're going to take the square root of both sides, and we get 5. So now we know the length of this hypotenuse. Let me show you another example where you're solving for the leg now. Sometimes this confuses students. So say, for example, number 2. Again, you want to make sure that you get the a, b, and c correctly. So remember, the a and the b are the two sides that make up the uh, right angle, and it doesn't matter whether you call this side A, or this side A, or this side B, or this side B, but the important thing is that the one across from the right angle, that's your C side. So now we've got X squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169, so 13 times 13, and then now we just want to get X squared by itself. So let's subtract 144 from both sides of the equation, you can see we're getting 25. And then now if we take the square root of both sides, we're getting five. So that's gonna be this missing leg here. Now sometimes when you're doing these problems, you're gonna get a square root that you can't simplify and you have to simplify that radical. So to learn more about how to do that, check out the video I did right there and I'll show you how to simplify those radicals.